Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Luke. It's so good to be back making all the videos after a couple of days off last week. Um, it's the big one. The big one. Our cup final, their cup final, no cup final, whatever way you want to put it. It's West Ham Tottenham. You know, my favourite game of the season. There's no doubt about it. You know, Also, the least favourite game as well because it makes me incredibly anxious. I get nauseous in the morning. It's already, you know, this is Saturday morning. And it's already there. It's already there, that build-up, that tension. Um, this is a game you love to win, you hate to lose. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, I'm uh, I'm not going to the game, but I'm going to go and watch it in the pubs around Dagnum and stuff like that. Um, and have a real good time. See some guys that I've not seen for a long time. I really can't wait for this one. Like I said, I absolutely love this game. It's, it's, it's such a great game, atmosphere-wise. Um, so let's go into it, guys. It's our 200th and 15th meeting um you know a huge number um we'll kick off at 2 p.m at the london stadium um we've both played on thursday they played slightly earlier but obviously they were traveling uh they made 11 changes for that game um against fatigue which they lost one nil um and obviously we come off the back of our game against gink uh, a fantastic three nil win which we did rest a few players but we'll go into that uh they're currently fifth on 15 points if they were to win, obviously they would go up to 18 points and be well up there, you know, in that top three, top four position. If we were to win, obviously we could get ourselves a little bit above them and a little bit of a gap below them chasing pack. Obviously, Arsenal's win last night uh, puts a little bit of pressure on. There's a few teams on that 14, sort of 13, 14, 15 points mark. So, you know, you do have to start winning your games now because they do come thick and fast. Um... Obviously, last time out, we won't count the Europe, Europa League game for them because they made so many changes. But their last two games, uh, they beat Newcastle, obviously, in a real high atmosphere game. You know, Newcastle were high on the fact that they had, you know, just had their taken o been taken over. The atmosphere was like a cup final there. They scored really early, Newcastle as well. You know, they could have easily gone on and lost that game, but they did come back and showed their quality. M. Don Belly with a really good goal. Harry Kane with his first Premier League goal of the season. <laughs> surprisingly not against West Ham. Um, and then obviously Son, you know, they're arguably the, you know, a top, top world-class player um, for them getting the third. Um, Eric Dyer did score an own goal, though. He is a bit suspect, you know, and Antonio running up against him. I do fancy that. Um, and obviously the game before that, they did beat Villa 2-1 as well. Top goal scorers in all competitions is Harry Kane with seven. You know, you would expect that. Uh, but he has only got one in the Premier League, but we all know that he has a great, great record against West Ham, and he loves, loves playing against West Ham. He's not the biggest West Ham fan either. I've seen him in little uh, videos with Moose from TalkSport. I can't stand Moose, but I've seen him in videos with that, and, you know, he's very open about that he does actually really like West Ham. Uh, probably because we've stopped him in the league a couple of times. Uh, I just thought I'd put that in there. Uh, Son with four as well. Big, big fan of Son. Um, big, great, great player. So, so dangerous. Dribbling skills, shooting ability. Another one loves scoring against West Ham as well. Lucas Moura, top, top player on the right hand side. Um, the Brazilian, full of pace again, loves a goal. Um, then you've got Hoiberg, really good. CDM, Endon Belly's coming into his game, been one of their best players this season. If there's anywhere that's suspect, it's potentially their defence is still a slightly shaky. Um, good goalie with Loris on his day. They're, they're, listen, they're a good team. They're, they're, they're not quite on top gear yet. And that's what potentially is their, the scary part of this game. That Could they hit top gear in this game? Let's hope not. Um, obviously, last time we played them at the London Stadium was a 2-1 win for West Ham. Goals from Mikel Antonio and Jesse Lingard. Um, in a really good game. Obviously, that was when the band came out as well. Um, a real good game. And obviously... Who could forget, you know, last season's game at their ground. 3-3, free, free, Lanzini. Oh, you know, one of the best games of football I've ever, ever watched. And one of the worst games of football I've ever watched. So, uh, some great memories from West Ham Tottenham last year. Um, looking at Tos Tottenham's characteristics, guys. Their strengths is shooting from uh, direct free kicks. They're very good from free kicks. This is all based on what they've done so far this season. Um, creating long shot opportunities. Obviously, they do love the long shot. Uh, we know that they've got loads of players that can ping one. Um, protecting leads is also a very good strength for theirs. So if they do go one, two up, they are very good at keeping leads. Um, their style of play, again, listed very similar. Take long shots, very ticky-tacky. Um, Nuno Esplente. 
obviously is trying to turn him into that fluid team that he had at Wolves. Obviously, it will take time. It's, it's slowly starting to take effect now. Um, they like to attack down the right-hand side. Uh, and obviously, opponents like to play aggressively against them. And you would expect that from us as well on Sunday. Um, their weaknesses, avoiding failing in dangerous areas. That's good for us. We put a good set piece in. We're one of the most dangerous set piece takers in the Premier League um, in terms of goal scoring from them. Um, defending set pieces. Again, strength for West Ham is our set pieces. Um, aerial duels, one of our strengths. Diop, Dawson, Zuma, Ogbonna, Socek, even Rice could have an header. Antonio's very good in the air as well. Um, stopping opponents from creating chances. We've been very good at that. If one of our, if, if you could argue maybe one of our weaknesses is finishing them, you know, uh, we need to be a little bit more killer. I know got three the other day, but just that little bit more killer so we can kill a game off and, you know, ease that tension. Um, defending against um, attacks down the wing is also li listed as one of their uh, weaknesses. We attack a lot down the wing. You know, Jared Bowen, Cresswell, um, I assume Ben Johnson will be in. And obviously Ben Rama loves to cut in from the wing. So again, all things that, you know, should benefit us. Um, they've been recently playing the 4-2-3-1. Obviously, Laurie Singal, Reglion, Dyer, um, Christian Romero, Emerson, Skip Hoiberg, Lucas, Endombele, Son and Kane. So, we'll probably go like for like with the 4-2-3-1. Um, looking at us, obviously, we come back off the Genk game. Fantastic. You know, we look really, really good. Um, Everton game was a massive, massive victory as well. A real professional performance. Um, it was good that we got loads of players, got a rest as well. Zuma, Ogbonna. Um, obviously Johnson played but he needs games he's young enough to play the games uh, Rice come off which was good on the hour mark Rice come off so it was good to get him a rest Antonio's had a full week rest as well which is fantastic um, Ben Rama and Fonel has only come on for like 20-25 minutes in a week just probably just to get their legs warmed up you know just so they have got some football in them um, yeah I'm, I'm quietly confident I am I'm quietly confident I think it'd be quite a high scoring game you know, this could be a you know a classic two-two. Um, I think they will score, um, but I think I think we'll score as well. I think Antonio will really give them some trouble. Um, and Bowen just looks electric at the moment, doesn't he? Fonals when he's on it is brilliant. So check look back to his best in the uh, game the other night. So yeah, it, I I don't expect many changes to be honest in terms of like from the. Um, Everton game, obviously there'll be loads of changes from the Genk game, but in terms of the Everton game, I think you can predict our lineup: Johnson, Zuma, um, Ogbonna, Cresswell, Fabianski, back in goal, uh, Suchek Rice, Fonals, Bowen, Ben Rama, big man up front, Antonio. It's good, it's good. I'm, I'm excited, guys. Excited. Listen, watch every game, enjoy every game at the moment. Um, you know, it's going to be a roller coaster of the Tottenham game. It always is. Um, it's just one of those things. It's you know, as I said at the beginning, it's a game we love to win and a game we ha hate to lose um, with bragging rights. I'm so glad it's half term, though, so I don't have to go into work and deal with a banter if we do lose. But brilliant, brilliant. I can't wait, guys. Let me know your score predictions. Um, let me know if you think there's going to be any other changes. Will, will he be brave enough to go with Ariola in goal? Or, you know, does Fabianski deserve to stay in goal after the Everton game? You know, they're both... It's good that they're both on each other's toes at the minute. You know, they're keeping each other warm. Um... Yeah, look forward to the game, guys. I'll be out with my FIFA preview. I'm going to go and film that straight after I've done this video and uploaded it. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, guys. We're so so close to 4K subscribers, which would be brilliant. You know, puts us up there as one of the, uh, you know, one of the nice good level channels at West Ham. Um, yeah, just check out everything, guys. Help out JP. I think did he say he's about 40 on the way and maybe 20 on the way now from 2000. Going to Iron United. Going to help Hammers Hammers reunited. Uh, sorry, West Ham reunited, West Ham Fan TV, get them up to 60. Let's get us all up there. Let's make us, you know, one of the biggest fan bases on YouTube out there. Until next time, guys, come on your irons, keep believing. I'm nervous, but I think, you know, this team, this team is capable. This team is different. This team is not a team that will fade. This team is not a team that, you know, as their bellies tickled anymore, as Gonzo would say. This is a team that's got a bit about them. You know, players like Declan Rice, they know they know what this game means to the West Ham fans. They know Bowen, people like that, will know what it means. It'd be great, you know, proper London derby at West Ham again. Yeah, that's it, guys. I've rambled and rambled and rambled. But yeah, 
that's how excited I am about this game. I will be back with a review later, uh, obviously in the day, because I'm going out. But yeah, come in your minds. Keep believing. Let's go.